It is kind of cool seeing that V8 just poking out the hood. Uh, unintentional 360. What's up everybody and welcome back here to the channel Assetto Corsa back with something different and fun. I say different because well if you've noticed this FC RX7 has uh, that Vortex supercharged motor out of Matfield's S14.5. So I can't take full credit for this mod but I did do the engine changeover as well as change the roll cage, change the seat, put my handbrake system and shifter assembly in it, change the wheels and remove the hood and some of the fairings and stuff like that that was originally on this VDC car. So, my modeling is not 100% yet. As you can see, there's some stuff missing here. But, it was my first attempt at doing a motor swap, and I think it came out amazing. A little uh, V8 Vortex Supercharger in there. So, we're going to rip this car today on a... <coughs> so, we're going to take the car out to Suzuki Twin Drifts for this FC... So, I've been having a lot of fun modding cars and stuff like that. So, I'm thinking about making a bunch of different modded cars, whether it be cars that I took things from other cars and made like this car, basically taking the engine out, and doing this kind of mod style and putting them up in a drive and uh, putting them up for you guys to dr drive as well if you guys would like to have these cars. Let me know in the comments. I'm thinking about doing a bunch of different modeling and stuff like that and making some custom cool cars and put them up to the public so that if I create an open lobby with the cars, you guys will be able to come thrash with the cars as well. Like I said, I can't take full credit for this for this mod because I did not make the base car. The base car is a VDC public car and I just kind of did oh, some fine tweaking myself. I have the wrong gearing set in this car right now. Long e brake drag. Apparently, second gear is money gear right now. It is kind of cool seeing that V8 just poking out the hood. Uh, unintentional 360. What? I'll take it. That unintentional 360. Suzuka Twin Drifts is actually a fun track for me, but I think I need to tweak the gearing, but we'll probably just try one or two more laps with this gears. I'd really like to get closer to that wall. Famous last words of myself. I want to get closer to that wall and then, you know, end up hitting it. So we're actually going to go back to pits. We're going to change our gears. Give yourself a little bit more speed. We are also going to go uphill here at Suzuka Twinders as well. I don't know why I have the track map on. I kind of already know this track. Wall tap. Does that count? So this car is very grippy because it is set with, you know, the VDC tires and everything like that. So it's definitely a very grippy car and something that needs to get used to but I do like the grippier style cars there we go it involves a little more uh, more throttle more clutch kicks and a little bit smoother steering because if you steer too much you can start oscillating back and forth I feel like I kind of got it now the car handles very well so like I said I was thinking about doing a Google Drive with a bunch of these cars and stuff like that. If you guys would be interested in trying out some of these cars yourself, let me know down in the comments because I'm always up to start running some open lobbies too. And uh, if I run open lobbies with these custom cars in there and you guys don't have them, well, you guys wouldn't be able to slide with me. So I may create a Google Drive account and stuff like that with links and everything, maybe in a Discord once I open it to these cars so that you guys will be ready for some online sessions once I actually start running those. Oh, I 
that was close. It's kind of what I wanted to do last time. The supercharger is just screaming though. So let me know what you guys think of my basically first kind of swap around messing with you know modeling a car here for a set of Corsa. I think it looks pretty good personally and I thought it was kind of a fun way to uh, do a zero hood car and basically find a model that was suitable to put a V8 in it. I'm sure this car was modeled off of the Taurus Stallion model which had a V8 in it from Forza and in real life. So we're gonna head up the hill. That's the Zuka Twin Dress. <clears throat> and uh, hit the uphill section that's up the hill up here. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll be found in the description box below. Got some big things coming in the beginning of next year as well as the end of this month. So it's gonna be doing a basically review of the channel throughout the year and talking about what my plans are for next year for the channel. So make sure you guys tune in for that when it comes out. Going uphill in this car is not easy. Oh, I'm so glad that that was empty and not a solid object. So upper part of Suzuka Twin Drift. A little bit of a lockup of the brakes sending me a little bit off course. Actually, I haven't driven on this part that much. I always spend most of my time on the lower one because I like doing that wall. But there's a wall here that we could kind of shoot for as well. That's a little bit in the wall. When in doubt, clutch kick out. Just kind of banging red line. Clutch kick it out. So like I said, if you guys would like to try some of these cars yourself, let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Would you have changed something else? I know a lot of people are going to have that V8 hate with saying I should have kept a rotary in here. But, you know, I kind of love the way it looks with that V8 with the giant intake manifold and Vortex supercharger sticking out the hood. My driving was a little bit better right now then uh, it would do the car a little more justice. Oh, I think we don't have tires. I think we are literally out of tires. I kind of burned off a bunch of tires. So we are going to reset our tires. I think we're gonna try and hit that wall real quick again and see if we can't actually uh, get a nice wall tap entry on the second one out because it would be nice to uh, actually get a nice wall tap entry here at Suzuka Twin Drift as they come out of boost, which is weird in a supercharger, but I kind of just fell off the throttle. I kind of let go of the gas, so that was my fault. Definitely a fun car and a fun looking car at that. It's so nice to have uh, all working fingers now. All right, let's try and get this wall tap. Nowhere near it. We're gonna try that again, because I kind of want to get that wall tap entry in there and actually uh, scrape wall coming into this section. I've done it many, many times, but you know, usually when I try to actually record something about it, you know, my driving kind of drops a little bit. So hopefully I can get it. Kind of hesitated, but we were close. Definitely a fun car to try. Very grippy because most VDC cars are grippy. We build some cars that are not as grippy, but I do like the grip style drifting because while well, competition cars are very grippy. So you guys have never driven this style of car and you get behind it and you're like, oh man, this is difficult. It's actually very different than driving some of like, say, the Tando Buddy cars and stuff like that. They're very easily slidable, very easily in tandems and don't take too much effort. Oh, there's in the wall. Almost a backwards entry. 
So just a little glimpse at one of my first basically taking parts from multiple different car models. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said, if you guys want to see more modeling, let me know down in the comments. And always follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'll try on the description box below. I do appreciate all the support from you guys. Ooh, grass. And full of awesome stuff is coming in the near future. So make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel and subscribe for now or a subscriber. I would appreciate the support. That was much better. So as always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. See you guys on the track.